Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> As you can see, sweetie tin tins in Yanoye Via. Yes, we have some fried meat pie going on here and it is absolutely delicious let's get right into the recipe all right y'all let's begin by prepping our meat and also vegetables and as you can see we're only using onions and scallions i'm going to grate part of the onion because i need some in the blended form and the amounts that i need if i put in the blender it'll be a waste of my time so this is perfect i'll set it aside and then i'm going to go ahead and chop up my onions and scallions <laughs> Then we're going to go ahead and prep our meat for grinding or blending. As you all already know, if you've watched my meat pies and chicken pies, I don't like using store-bought ground beef. So I always grind it up myself using my Ninja Master Prep. It works so beautifully. So I'm just going to cut it up. I've washed it already, but I'll wash it again. Transfer it into the Master Prep. I'll add some of the onions and scallions and grind it to my preferred texture. As I said, you can use store-bought ground beef. And there you have it. It is ready. Let's get started with our filling. Now to a pan, I'm going to go ahead and add some coconut oil. You may use any oil of your choice. To that, I'm going to add part of my chopped onions and I'm going to saute it for about five minutes. I'll then add in some grounded chili peppers and some of my all-purpose seasoning. I just bought the chili peppers and I grounded it into a powder. You can use cayenne pepper if you don't have this or you can omit it completely if you don't want any type of heat. This was just the perfect amount so it was not hard at all. I'll then add in our ground beef and I'm going to brown it or steam it as we say in Ghana. So I'm going to cook this with no water until it browns completely. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and add in some salt to taste and we're going to cook this until it is fully cooked. Now you may want to omit the oil if using store-bought ground beef because some of them can be very, very fatty. But as you can see, this one have no fat or whatsoever. That's why I love making my own ground beef, okay? I'm then going to add enough water to be at the same level with my meat, cover it up and allow it to cook completely. Meanwhile, we're going to prep our thickener by adding some cornstarch to water, mix it well and set it aside. You may use flour if you prefer, but I love the transparent look that the cornstarch brings to the filling rather than cloudy if you use flour okay so as you can see our filling is looking good i'm going to check if it is ready if it is it will be time to add our cornstarch and water mix and it was so as you can see i'm adding that give it a stir and allow it to simmer for about five minutes and it'll be done Pizza, Pizza. Jala, Jala. 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 
And there you have it. It is nice and ready, but we cannot use it when it's hot like this. So we have to set it aside, allow it cool completely while we work on our crust. So in a bowl, I'm going to add some all-purpose flour. You can use plain. To that, I'll add some baking powder and salt. Mix it well, and then we're going to go ahead and add in our butter. Then with the aid of a pastry blender, I'm going to blend it into the flour beautifully. Then I'll get my fingers in and make sure that the butter have dissolved beautifully into the flour. Unlike regular pie dough that you may want chunks of the butter in there, this one isn't like that. You want this beautiful texture that you see right here. Now adding the grated onion is totally optional, but I want every bite of this crust to be absolutely delicious okay so i added the grated onions and some water and i'm going to mix it into a nice soft dough but as you notice i didn't add all the water that i will need at the same time you want to add your water little by little until you've reached the consistency that you're going for I'll now get my fingers in and work it into a nice soft dough. And this is the consistency that I'm going for. So I'm going to divide it in half and I'll wrap it with some plastic wrap and allow it to rest for about 10 to 15 minutes so that all the ingredients would distribute beautifully. I didn't put this in the refrigerator, but you can if you want to. My butter is going to cause it to harden up if I put it in the refrigerator. So I'm just going to leave it out for this 15 minutes. Our filling have cooled down completely, so I'm going to add in some of the fresh onions and scallions and I'll stir it together beautifully. Now, this is optional, but I love the crunchiness that the onion brings to the filling. Now, you can also add any type of vegetable that you like, but most of the time in Ghana, our meat pies usually have just onions, okay? We keep it simple. So it is time for us to start rolling, cutting, and frying. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to roll this dough into my preferred thickness. Now remember, the thinner you roll it, the crunchier your crust will be. And this is the thickness that I'm going for. This is just right, okay? So we're going to go ahead and cut it and I'm using my famous lid, okay? I don't even have the parts to this anymore, but I've kept the lid because it gives me the perfect size. At this point, I realize if I cut it right here, I'm going to lose everything around. So I'll move it to the right side. That way I can get at least one more. Okay, and then I use a smaller cutter to get an extra small one. And the excess, you can let it rest, roll it back out and cut it again. But I'll show you what I did with my excess. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and add in my filling. And you want to add as much or as little as you like. <laughs> We'll then brush the edges with water, which will serve as the glue that binds the fold together. <laughs> I'm just joking. But yeah, you need this to ensure that when you fold it over, it stays together and doesn't open up in the frying process. I'll then use a spoon to aid me in closing it because as y'all can see i filled this baby up <laughs> you know what you get when you buy this on the streets of accra they give you just a little bit of filling and 
a big old crust that they use a fork. I wonder how big their fork is, but they, you know, press it so flat on the side with just a tiny bit of filling. But we really enjoy the crust too, so it's not that bad. But that is what homemade is all about. Put more or less filling if you like. Then I'll press my fork in a little bit of flour so that it'll be easy for me to just seal without my fork getting stuck in the dough. Okay, so we're just going to press the sides together. And there you have it. But as I said, if you want a bigger crust, like the way they have it in Ghana, make big presses like this one. So you see the filling is just small in the middle and the sides are just huge like this. So I love this too. Remember our crust is already flavorful. So it's a win-win situation. <laughs> in the meantime, I was heating up my oil and this should be on medium high and you want to drop your pies in gently. You don't want to splash it and burn yourself okay if this is on medium low your pies may soak up oil causing it to be oily and greasy which is not what we want but on medium high you can then you know put it to medium to give you a nice golden color remember when dropping it your pie crust is cold your oil is hot the crust will cause the oil's temperature to drop causing it to soak up oil and we don't want that while that is going on i'll be rolling the rest and cutting it up and this are my mini pies which is what i usually always have in my freezer i prep these keep it in my freezer and we get to enjoy it sometimes i have different filling but for today we're just sticking with our meat filling but do not forget your pie on fire i did not forget mine daddy was over there stirring that up for me while i took care of this i did not want the pie to burn no not after all of this hard work but if you're alone please do not forget to multi task thank you daddy i took it over right on time because it is nice and golden brown and ready to come out of the oil once i get it out of here i'm going to place it on a paper towel lined tray to get out any excess oil but as you can see these babies did not hardly soak up any oil but we still have to do that are they beautiful or are they beautiful so we're going to go ahead and fry the mini ones as well until they are nice and golden brown and we will be good to go As for the pieces, you guessed it, make some chips and have a complete party this Easter season. You are set to go. Just check out how beautiful this is. I'll leave a link to how you can make this step by step. But for now, serve your pies with your favorite beverage and enjoy just check it out is it beautiful or what doesn't even look fried because of the power and the crust let's check out the inside is the filling doing its job is it nice and moist absolutely look at that but now sit back relax and enjoy the crunch as I enjoy. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? 
please promise me you're gonna try this recipe because it is absolutely delicious and you are going to love it thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up thank you share and subscribe if you have not done that yet if you're new subscriber welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys get onamini uchemi sweet mahabotu bye y'all